So swordfish in general are an extremely um, difficult fish to catch. There's many factors that, that come into play here. Um, you're fishing in 1,600 feet of water, so I mean, you can imagine trying to set a hook that's 1,600 feet away from you. Um, not only that, it's it, there's so much line out, it's really hard to see the bite. So um, these fish are really difficult. Um, quite honestly, you need a lot of, lot of luck to hook them. Um, this day we had just all the luck in the world. Um, like I said, we hooked six fish. Um, some days, you know, I don't even get a bite, let alone hook a fish. We're fishing um, this giant ledge. It goes from like 800 feet, it rolls all the way down to almost 2,000. If you keep going, it gets to 2,000, but it drops from about eight, 900 down to about 1,700 in less than half a mile. So, I mean, you can imagine it's pretty much just a giant, giant wall. It's just a sheer, you know, vertical wall, um, which is really cool. So we use these big giant weights huge leader, big electric reels. Uh, it's quite a production. It's a, it's a really fun fish to, to try and target. It's kind of an all or nothing fish. But last drop of the day, uh, we hook our, our sixth fish of the day. It was acting really weird. We couldn't really tell what was going on. It doubled over um, real nice. So we thought it was a big fish. Um, so we're fighting it, fighting it, fighting it. It comes up and it kind of kind of lets up halfway through, which made us, we couldn't tell if the fish got off or just gave up or whatever it was. Um, and it gets to the surface and the fish has no tail. It was attacked by a mako shark on the way up. Um, and shortly after we see the mako shark come up and unfortunately, you know, the fish's tail's gone, the fish is already gonna die. So we dispatched of it quickly uh, just to make sure it didn't suffer or anything, but it was too short to keep. So we decided to let the mako claim his prize. And um, we wanted to get some footage of that. I mean, that's, it was my first time ever seeing a mako shark. It was absolutely incredible. Um, so it was, it was quite a cool sight to see. Hope you guys enjoy that. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back. We're going fishing. We're out on the sword grounds. I'm gonna try and catch one. What you think, guys? We've got Will, and you'd have never seen this guy. This is Darren. He does all the editing for us. Today, he's gonna be on the other end of the camera. Caught a sword yesterday, so figured we'd come back out and try again. The conditions are beautiful. We're about to set up here. We're in. 1600 feet get a bait on the bottom see what happens so we got something we got a bite trying to set i just tried to set the hook with the boat got to turn the camera on it's 10 30 that was our first drop kind of looks like he's on there yeah he's digging looks like a small one we're bringing him up pulled him off halfway up we're gonna bring the bait up and check it make sure it's still in good form but sometimes that's how it goes Get this up and reset, try again. You mauled it. Damn it. <laughs> Tore it all up. Well, gotta rig another one. All right. Second drop, first one got torn up. Rigged up a new Bonita belly. Let's put her down. Uh-oh. Just slacked off, we literally just Came tight on this, or uh, came down on this drop. I'm gonna try and set the hook here. That might be the right one. Let's keep our fingers crossed he stays on there. Drive the hook a little here. Fingers crossed. So this fish is verified tight. He slacked us off. Now he's starting to, he just realized he's hooked. He's giving the reel a little bit of trouble here. Um, definitely some weight on it. Fingers crossed. Should see the weight here any second. I can see it. No, it's not season up. It's just resistance from him or her. I don't want to be uh, sexist or anything. Could be a girl. Could be a girl sort of. Oh God, that's not good.
They're biting today, baby! He changed his mind right here. Real light on the drag. Just keep reeling, Will. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, he just pulled off right there. No. Literally just pulled off. Resetting. That was tough to watch. He came up and did a nice jump. Um, hopefully the camera picks it up a little. He's kind of far out, but they are definitely biting today. We're going to set and this is our third time. Two drifts, two bites, so it's looking good. So, might be hard to see. You can see a little teeny tiny dot there. That's a swordfish we just marked. Down at about... 15, 15 something. You see a bite? I was on the slightest disturbance. So we marked one. Hopefully he's, uh, hopefully he's down there. Setting the hook. We don't want it to pull out again like last time. You'd rather lose them low than lose them high. Big fish. Just set the hook hard. Digging, look how hard it's digging. I like that. So this fish just woke up a little, kind of realized it was hooked, kind of stalled us out, started running some line out. Um, I got the drag pretty light, but it's definitely, definitely fired up. 700 revs down. Get the harpoon ready. Got him. Here they go. Got him! Now he's under the boat, but I don't want to put it in here. He's coming back around, coming around the back right now. Coming around backside. Nice! Nice jump. Hit him in the dorsal. Don't let go of that button. I hit him in the. I hit him in the dorsal. Thing. That's good. You didn't mess up any meat. <laughs> Fifty-seven and a half. Legal size is forty-seven. So this fish is plenty, plenty big. Good job, guys. Good stuff. I love it. Be happy. All right, guys. We're going for a record. Got that one in the boat. Bait was still good, so we're gonna do another drop. Just out of curiosity. They're biting pretty good today. This never happens, so. 
We're gonna stick it out and see if we can get a big one. We're tight. Last drift of the day. Pulled a big one off earlier. We're gonna see what we got going on here. Looks like a good fish. Giving us a little bit of weight there. No, he's a shark. Oh, no. Oh, jeez, man. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, he got mauled. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, bud. He's got big. Put him out of his misery. Oh, there's a shark. It's a Mako. Look at that. And he's got, did you see the lines on him? Oh, I've never had a Mako to the boat. He's right here, look at him, look at him. We are out of here. We got our swordfish for dinner. The bite was pretty hot. So was it six drifts, six bites? Six drifts, six bites. Got two to the boat. One was short and eaten by a Mako, Mako encounter, which is pretty freaking awesome. We're gonna head to the house. We'll see you there. <laughs>